Ravanar Hesa presents the all-new two-axis positioning gauge for CC60 and CC90 pipe benders, which makes it possible to produce serial parts faster with more precision and repetitiveness. Adjustable longitudinal positioning with six positions. Angular head rotation every five degrees. Adjustable four-hook tray for round and square pipes. Longitudinal movement with high-precision linear guides. Automatic anti-collision control. All our limit stoppers are manufactured, assembled, and inspected at our facilities. In this audio-visual guide, we'll show you how to put together and level the brand new limit stop, as well as make adjustments, do maintenance, and start using it. Once you receive your limit, you take it out of the box and start up assembling. The initial assembly for the limit is the same for both models, CC60 and CC90. The only difference is how the limit is connected to the machine because of the specific architecture that each one has. Install the vertical support by inserting it into the guides on the end and tighten the four bolts. We place the two embellishers using a plastic hammer. For the CC60 model, we remove the rear cover to more easily attach the limit. Insert the anti-collision inductive sensor wire above the side shelving. Then we unscrew the Allen bolts one by one. Bring the stopper device close to the machine. Move the heads towards the back to prevent the extra weight and fix them together. Unlike in the CC60, you don't take the rear cover off the CC90. You have to dismantle the side cabinet so the inductive sensor wire can be inserted above it. Unscrew the Allen bolts on the side where the CC90 stop device will be located. Insert the screws in the hole and put on the nuts and washers by hand. Once the machine is leveled in the two directions, level the limit in the two directions as well with the nuts on the vertical support. Secure the counter nut and fix in the floor securing parts in contact with the ground. Definitively screw in the machine limit. Make a hole with a hammer drill into the ground to secure the limit. Put on the rear cover and fix it.
Start the machine. Screw in the anti-collision sensor and make sure the light turns on. Place the sensor in the support about 2 millimeters from the sliding cart without creating a collision. The sensor activates when the light turns off. Secure the two nuts with care and check that the light works properly. It's important to make sure the securing tray does not collide with the machine when the sensor turns off. The following message appears on the control screen. Press the Settings button, Tools, and then insert the password 4422331. Access the I.O. menu and activate the back gauge limit switch. Press the manual symbol to return to the home screen and make sure the alarm goes off when the cart gets closer to the machine. By doing a test, you can see how the machine stops when the limit activates the anti-collision system. To continue bending, release the pipe from the tray, the alarm will disappear, so press Start to go on bending and finish the piece. Adjusting the limit, measure a pipe sanction and mark a specific dimension, in this case 1000 millimeters. Position the stopper at this mark. Slide the carriage to the stopper. Place the pipe in the four-hook tray. Adjust until the mark on the pipe is lined up with the die and insert the counter shape. Secure the guide screws and the limit is ready to work. Adjusting the transversal stopper. In order to have the tube correctly aligned, you must move the slide limit based on the radius of the die we are using. In this case, it is 60 millimeters. We position the springs and make sure the tube moves correctly. The machine is ready to work. Adjusting the rotation angle. The tray can be positioned every 5 degrees. If you'd like a 30 degree and 90 degree slope, just release the corresponding bolts. The rotating tray has an inner limit, which marks the end point the pipe can reach. If you need to bend a longer piece, you can remove this inner limit and you'd get a pass-through tray for a diameter of up to 42.4 millimeters or one and a quarter inch maximum. To place back the inner limit, adjust the tray hooks so it's completely aligned. Gently screw in so the rotation movement is not affected. It is a four hook tray to enable it to clamp a square pipe as well. Maintenance. There are eight greasers, four on the linear guides and four on the transversal ones. We recommend to grease up every 15 to 30 days, depending on the use. Lubricate the horizontal and vertical rotation bearings with Bend 8. Thank you for trusting in Narhesa. We keep on working.
to provide you with the best service.